<laughs> yeah, I ain't been here in a minute, but y'all know I got something to say about something. Otherwise, it ain't nothing to be said at all. I'm donning my new suit, my, my, new, my new glasses here. This is what I want to talk about. With clogs in the supply chain slowing down the I'm trying to understand. To make the metal, causing problems, creating How they have construction tools and cans for brewing a companies. shortage. And a limited supply. A government shortage or something like that. driving up costs for consumers. I we thought they are. Uh, I thought don't recycle it. Don't when you recycle. The aluminum shortage is coming. <coughs> don't when you recycle, they just reuse and make them aluminum cans. Than ever before. Now, here go the problem. Y'all ain't recycling. Customers You're throwing them away as trash. You're leaving them lying all over the place. When you walk up and down the street, you find them on the ground and everywhere you run over with your car tire and stuff, they be flat. On the street, get swept up in the, in the trash, in the uh, dustpan, and dump in the trash can somewhere, you know. I thought they uh, uh, the recycling will help with that because it ain't it ain't biodegradable. You know what I'm saying? It ain't biodegradable. So uh, it is what it is. Yeah. Most <laughs> but that ain't really what I want to talk about. I just noticed it on the news. Am I going on here to mute? This weather and had me goofy. I've been stuffed up, congested. Ridiculous. <coughs> then I get, then I get, you hear it, you hear it, don't you? <laughs> These are the uh, drawbacks of living in Michigan. Then I get that, that dry eve cough. I'm like, where the hell that come from? I ain't even swallowed nothing wrong or nothing, but I'm like, hey, hey, I'm coughing. It's ridiculous. Anyway, uh, enough about this weather. I won't talk about that Travis Scott concert. See the idiots. <laughs> oh Lord. I took some point though. So I'll be alright. Yeah, man. So I went down into town at the Travis Scott concert. It's unfortunate, you know. People stampeding over each other and asphyxiating each other and just trampling each other, just ridiculous. <coughs> Oh my God! <laughs> I laugh at myself because I sound so pitiful. Anyway, um, so <laughs> it's funny to me, y'all. Excuse me. <laughs> Not the Travis Scott thing, just the way I'm coughing. Anyway, um, I just thought it was terrible. You know what I'm saying? All these uh, allegations and stuff coming out about what had happened, and I just don't understand. Why people just can't go out and have a good time. Then they said about five hundred or five thousand, I forgot the number. People didn't even really have the tickets. They were just up in there. How they do that? Oh that how they work that out. <coughs> then, you know, something Travis Scott gestured or did or said caused the crowd to want to push forward towards the stage. And that's where shit started getting real. I just don't understand. First of all, we in the middle of a pandemic. Shouldn't nobody at this time, until we got surefire proof that vaccinations and everything, 100% protection from this damn virus. Should we want to be cluttering up and squeezing all up in them tights so that many people anyway? I don't give a damn if it was outdoors. We should still have a will with all not bring that many people that close proximity. But we don't. So I digress on that. It is what it is. But uh, at least he's trying to take some ownership. Apparently he's going to try to do something for the families. They lost loved ones as a result. It was about eight of them to, to, to our knowledge. Because it could have been more. And they were so young. Ranging in ages of like 14 I think 14 might have been the youngest. I feel like I heard 11 on one report, but <coughs> 27 being the oldest. All of them young folk. And I just feel bad because I feel like our, our young folk ought to be able to enjoy their life and, and thrive and grow and be safe while doing it. You know, 
Nothing like that should be happening. But that type of stuff seems to just never stop going on. I want to say to all of the musicians and all of the comedians and all of the movie stars and actors and actresses and all y'all big shots out there to, you know, just know that to whom much is asked, much is required. You asked to be what you are, and now you're there. So one of the requirements is that you're responsible in how you conduct yourself. And you present yourself to your audience and your fans and the people who follow you and look up to you. So you got to be careful. You know, it's one thing to say, no, wave your hands in the air and wave them like you just don't care. I don't think it's going to cause any problems. You know what I'm saying? On um, hey, in the summertime when the flies is bad, wave your hands in the air to help kind of fan them flies away. So that <laughs> that's a good one. You keep that up. All right. If you say jump up, jump up and get down. If everybody just jumping in one spot, look at that promote exercise. That's some burn some calories right there. Have fun doing it. Like being a kid again. Go for it. But whatever it is, you done said if you done said something that calls your audience. So just want to rush the stage for, for whatever reason. If you did something, you know, ladies, fellas, vice versa, if you up there on that stage, I'm talking to all of the famous folk, the people in this particular uh, category I'm referring to, and you look some type of way and you do something, and you cause your fans to just, just do us, you're doing too much. You done went above and beyond what was necessary, and now we might have some problems. I'm just saying. It's unfortunate to hear about that, but it is what it is. Now let's talk about this Kyle Rittenhouse. Is that his name? This fake ass, crying ass. <laughs> oh, they they memeing it up too. They already memeing his cry. <laughs> I can't even do it. I ain't even gonna try. <laughs> I look a hot mess when I do it. Listen, you did what you did. Consequence comes from doing what you did. You know what you did. And yeah, you young. I know your brain ain't all the way developed. So the part of the brain that should have understood not to do what you did ain't all the way there yet. I, I guess you gotta give them the benefit of the doubt. But you have to enact the consequence. So, uh, young man, you're going to have to do your time. You're going to have to deal with it. And uh, just period. As a human being, they did something they shouldn't have been doing that was in the wrong and what they did. Period. I don't care what you look like. I just care the actions. The actions speak louder than your looks. Okay? Somebody need to coin that fade phrase. What a t-shirt's at. Your actions speak louder than you look. Hello. And make sure that, that that's understood. Because a lot of people don't understand that. See, they, you're going by your looks. And uh, that ain't, that's not what the business is. That's not how it's supposed to go. You did what you did. And you know what you did. We all know what you did. And we've seen what you did. And there's video footage of what you did. And it's horrible what you did. What is he, just now 18 or just about to turn 18, something like that? Look, and he still got teen hanging on the age, so we know he'll be young. We know the brain ain't all the way developed yet, and we, we get it. But listen, got to suffer them consequences. Got to. You may have to just sit there until you get to the point where the brain completely develops and you understand the ramifications, the consequences of what your actions were. Now, let's see if there's anything else I can think of to say right now. Uh, holidays upon us. I just finished trick-or-treating on Halloween. <laughs> I didn't really do no trick-or-treating this year, though. I bought one bag of candy, and it was all one kind, and I just finished eating it. Shouldn't have done it, but I said that was my that was my splurge, that was my gluttony for the for that for, for that particular reason. 
So I didn't have no major bags for a kid. Yeah, I didn't do that. Now Thanksgiving coming up. Oh, then shortly then after that, you know, after this, like, now you gotta go on a shopping frenzy. You got your, your Black Friday, your uh, Small Business Saturday. I don't know if Sunday got anything, but I'm sure it do. I just don't know. Your, your, uh, your Cyber Monday, your Giving Tuesday. By the time they finish running them days back to back, you broke. You broke. You just, just gonna have to do what you're gonna have to do. But tis the season, so thank God that we made it this far. Oh, yeah, that also. And some of y'all getting a little carried away with uh, the whole back to the, the Pope, the prick, the pride. I don't want my video to be censored somehow. The, with the cheering, ages uh, 5 to 11, I believe. Uh, you got Sesame Street characters doing the campaign. Oh, come on now, y'all. C- come on. Uh, I think in New York, or one of them states, they was uh, giving money. $100 or something like that. You know, for the kid to get vaccinated. Really, this is what we doing. Really. Yeah, they doing too much. This this is making this ain't a good look for the whole the, the, the process. You know, this ain't no good look. When you got to do all that. Bad enough what they did try to get the grown folks to get the shot. <clears throat> Pro prick thing. You know. But you never 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 never. <laughs> anyway, I've said enough. Cause I my, my little medicine I took starting to work. So I'm ready to start hacking up some stuff and getting it up out of my system and getting my, my body right to deal with this changing weather in this season. I said enough. I'll be back soon. Mm.